Hi everyone and welcome to early morning prayer requests and devotions. I hope everybody's okay this morning. On our prayer requests, Brenda's son Orlando's in the hospital with pneumonia and COVID. His wife and three young adults in, in their household all have it too. Pray they all will be okay. Becky's supposed to go to Vanderbilt the 23rd, but she's having a hard time breathing. Pray they can get her in sooner. Sally, Quinn, and the other residents in her nursing home will have to be quarantined until Friday. Someone else was exposed to COVID. Please pray for Loretta's cousin, Wes, and his family. He has COVID, but she's not sure if the family has it. Pray that enlightened by grace for you will be able to move home soon. Alright. Our scripture of the day comes from Ephesians 2, 1 through 10. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and of the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. All of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead with, in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms of, in Christ Jesus in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Okay. And our devotion today is entitled, God Heals Our Brokenness. Colin and his wife, Jordan, wandered through the craft store looking for a picture to hang in their home. Colin thought he had found just the right piece and called Jordan over to see it. On the right side of the ceramic art word was the word grace, but the left side held two long cracks. Well, it's broken, Jordan said as he started looking for an unbroken one on the shelf. But then Colin said, no, that's the point. We're broken and then grace comes in, period. They decided to purchase the one with the cracks. When they got to the checkout, the clerk exclaimed, Oh no, it's broken. Yes, so are we, Jordan whispered. What does it mean to be a broken person? Someone defined it this way. A growing awareness that no matter how hard we try, our ability to make life work gets worse instead of better. It's a recognition of our need for God and his intervention in our lives. The Apostle Paul talked about our brokenness in terms of being dead in our transgressions and sins. The answer to our need to be forgiven and changed comes in verses 4 and 5. Because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive. It is by grace we have been saved. God is willing to heal our brokenness with his grace when we admit, I'm broken. What brought you to your need? to ask God to heal your brokenness. How do you need him today? God, thank you for being rich in mercy toward me. May I boast in you and your gift of salvation through grace by faith. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anyone out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray, amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press the like button and then also subscribe if you haven't already and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. 
everybody i hope you have a great morning and i'll see you later on on morning coffee break bye everyone and god bless